Hi, Linda Sessions here, and welcome to week six in computer applications. Can you believe we're almost finished with the class? In week five, you finished up in Word. You had your combat cybercrime, and you also had your Word events flyer, as well as a quiz. Make sure you get those turned in Sunday evening by midnight. Um, this week, we're starting in PowerPoint. Now, PowerPoint is my favorite program. I have the most fun with it. And the one thing I like about PowerPoint is that you are going to be revisiting a lot of the skills you learned in Word. Text, text formatting, uh, changing the font, adding a picture, formatting a picture, adding a text box, uh, formatting a text box, all that stuff works the same in PowerPoint as it did in Word. So you're just kind of reviewing some of the stuff you already know. Now you will be learning some new things like animations, transitions, doing those in PowerPoint. So um, try to have some fun with it, and you're going to be revisiting parts of your life as you work in your PowerPoint this week. So let's jump into PowerPoint week six and see what I'm talking about. So here in the class, you've got um, week six module. So if I open up the week six module here, you can see uh, there's the YouTube playlist. Now, I just got finished um, making the videos for the three truths and one lie assignment. So those are available for you. Take Watch those before you start working on the assignments and it's really going to help you get through them and understand what you're doing. You've got the link to the e-text. Make sure you read that because that e-text is going to help you on this PowerPoint quiz and don't forget to do that PowerPoint quiz. You also have a SAM end of module project that you're going to be doing in PowerPoint. Remember, when you do something in Cengage and you submit it, you're going to get a graded report. Review that graded report. You can open back up your original PowerPoint, make changes, and resubmit it to improve your grade. So take advantage of that. You also have three truths and one lie. Now, in the three truths and one lie, I want you to come up with four sentences about yourself. And on those four sentences, I want three of them to be truths, and I want one of them to be a lie. Don't overthink it. It could be as simple as my favorite color is blue when actually my favorite color is green. Or I like to eat cauliflower. I really don't care for cauliflower. So that would be my lie. Or I love to eat chocolate. Hey, that's one of my truths. Okay. So don't overthink it. It can be as simple as that. Uh, you're going to take those four sentences and you are going to make a PowerPoint presentation. In part A, you are going to be creating a basic PowerPoint presentation. The instructions are right here. This is where you're going to upload your file after you finish part A. When you're finished with part A, then you're going to go to part B. Now in part B, you're going to take that PowerPoint presentation that you created in part A and you're going to be adding some pictures to it and adding some transitions to it. When you're finished with part B and the instructions are right here, you're going to upload that file here. Then you're going to open up and you're going to do part C. Don't try to do them out of order. Do part A, then part B, and then part C. Part C instructions right here. You're going to upload the file in part C. You're going to be adding animations to the pictures and finalizing your presentation. So make sure you do those in order. Do part A, submit it. Do part B, submit it. Part B or part C, submit it. That is how I'll be grading them. So if you miss turning one of those parts in, you're going to be losing 20 points. All three of them together are 60 points, but you must submit them separately. Then you have the What Do I Know presentation. Now, the What Do I Know presentation um, is a presentation that I want you to do over something that you know about. I think the thing I see students mess up the most with this is they overthink it. I don't want you to go do a lot of research for this presentation. I want it to be something that you already know about. Like for mine, I did cooking cupcakes. I used to do cupcakes all the time. Not so much anymore, but I used to cook them a lot. So. I didn't have to go out and do a lot of a lot of research to make this. So if you like to do cars, 
do your presentation over cars. If you want to do your presentation over your family, you can do your presentation over your family. That's fine as well. Make sure you follow the instructions. I tell you exactly what I want on the individual slides. And this is just an um, example of what it might look like. And there's also a rubric for you. In the class in Blackboard on the YouTube playlist, I do, there oh, are, something very yeah. cool. you do have videos over, um, this here. here is the What Do I Know presentation. Here is part A, part B, and part C of the Three Truths and One Lie. So take advantage of those if you need them as well. The other thing I want you to do this week is check your grade. Now, the last day to drop this class is fast approaching, and you want to come up here to your My Grades and look, check your overall grade. Be proactive with your grade. Now, if you're getting an F or a D in this class, you will be receiving a text or an email from me today. Uh, I'm working on those, so make sure that you keep an eye out for those. Uh, we'll be today or over the weekend, so really soon here. So pay attention to that, and um, if you have questions on your grade, reach out. I am here. I want you to be successful. My office is at WSU South. We can meet there if you want. We can do a Zoom meeting. So hey, don't wait till the last minute to start working on these assignments so you're not going to get finished with them. Uh, that's Pepper in the background here. She says, hey, pay attention. My mom knows what she's talking about. Have a great week, and I will catch you later. Thanks, bye.